From the perspective of the industry as a whole, there, I don't think there's any such thing as bad spectrum. So whether it's paired or unpaired spectrum, the growing consensus is that because capacity is so high uh, and the demands for capacity are going to be so high, you have to use all the spectrum you've got. So um, digital dividend spectrum, paired spectrum in the 700 band in North America and in other bands around the world is fundamentally important to give coverage. The 2.6 gigahertz uh, spectrum bands which we're seeing li becoming licensed right now, they're fundamentally important to give capacity within inner cities. But because TDD and, and particularly TDLTE is becoming a mainstream technology, I think that clearly China will do TDLTE. India has licensed that spectrum and the move of Qualcomm suggests that TDLTE is going to happen there as well. Moving forward, other operators have got to take India and China and look at that, that's like 2.6 billion people. That market on its own justifies economies of scale and that makes it appealing to more people. So as, uh, as operators in, uh, in the US, uh, sorry, in the UK, people have already got 3G spectrum licenses, which have got TDD sections in the middle or more TDD coming online in 2.3 gigahertz. All of this has got to be appealing to people who basically are going to have to deploy technologies which help consumers use the amount of bandwidth and have the amount of bandwidth that they're demanding. The consumer perspective, they don't care and increasingly technology becomes completely invisible to the consumer. So whether it's TDD, FDD, whether it's Wi-Fi in buildings, um, whether it's HSPA or LTE moving forward is going to become increasingly unimportant. They're going to want the best connection that's available to them at the time. And that means that the operator has to consider all things.